Hello fishy friends, two of my Paracromus manguensis were acting a bit strange. I ended up finding a large clutch of eggs, probably close to 100 little ellipsoids, strewn over a few river stones. I thought, this is fantastic. However, after a day there was a white fuzz starting to appear on some of the eggs. The bane of a fish breeder's existence was invading my aquarium. I did some digging on fish egg fungus and this is what you need to know. Fungus is a fairly common disease in the aquarium hobby and especially for fish breeders. Fungus will appear as a white fuzzy object growing around the eggs. This fuzz may quickly spread to other eggs and can easily consume a spawn. There are some reports that fungus is more prominent at higher pHs. The chances of getting fungus can be reduced with quite a few methods. First, it is important to keep your aquatic system healthy. Stay up to date on water changes and general tank cleanliness. Remove excess food and detritus. Many breeders keep bare bottom tanks to ease the cleaning of the aquarium. When the debris has nowhere to hide, it's not only easier to clean, but forces you to clean it. Otherwise, you'll be forced to see the grime. Fungus can easily grow on unfertilized eggs. If you're finding your spawns are unsuccessful, it's possible that you have a pair of females. While many think this is interesting on some not-to-be-named adult websites, this is a bit of a problem for a breeder. I'm not going to give you the full birds and the bees lecture, but to summarize, in order to have a successful spawn, you need both a male and a female. Additionally, it's possible that the male may be immature or inexperienced and unable to fertilize the eggs. Time can help fix that. Unfertilized eggs will turn opaque and oftentimes white. Fertilized eggs will remain transparent and you'll be able to see your new aquatic amigos develop. In order to prevent fungus from establishing, it's good practice to remove unfertilized eggs and eggs showing signs of fungus. A good utensil for removing the eggs is a disposable pipette. Many fish will lay eggs in a location with some moderate water movement. The extra circulation helps keep fungus from taking root. Other fish will also clean their nests. In particular, cichlids are excellent at caring for their young. I found my managuensis fanning their eggs with their fins to increase the water movement. Unfortunately, they built their nest in a fairly dead spot in my aquarium. This is likely one of the reasons for my fuzzies. Even if your fish choose a location that you find less than desirable, you can help them out by increasing the circulation over the eggs with a small power head or an air stone. We can also prevent and combat fungus using chemical warfare. There are many powerful antifungals out on the market. A common one is methylene blue. This chemical is excellent at knocking out fungus, however it does have some side effects. Because of the nature of the chemical, it's possible to cause issues with the biological component of your filter. You may save your eggs from fungus only to have your fry killed by an ammonia spike. Additionally, methylene blue is extremely blue. It will dye everything. Equipment, airline tubing, silicone, and even hands. Perhaps that's where they got the Navi and Avatar to come from. Because of this, you may be better off treating using a dip style method. Similarly, acroflavine may be used to combat fungus. Like meth blue, acroflavine may cause issues with the biological component of your system. However, this chemical is fairly easily removed by carbon. Acroflavine may also be effective at higher pHs. A few other chemicals include Paragard, Meridel's Meroxy, and Pimafix, which is a natural antifungal. The molar concentration of hydrogen ions in the water seems to be an important component for fungal growth. Perhaps we can use this to our advantage. European block alder cones are a popular natural method to release a large concentration of tannic acid into an aquarium. The tannins will lower the pH of the aquarium and will stain the water brown. Alder cones is, are especially popular when breeding fish from soft acidic waters like Epistogramma and Corydoras. Other natural ways to add tannins include introducing almond, catapa, or oak leaves. It may take some experimenting and patience, but anyone can saute up some egg fungus. Follow me at facebook.com slash aquastudent and support my channel by picking up some epic aquarium gear at aquastudent.spreadshirt.com. Smash that subscribe button and let me know your fish breeding experiences in the comments below. Fish on, amigos.